Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez back again. I'm going to go over some points that seem to be sort of a, a, a troublesome subject with some people. They just don't quite understand the differences as to when should I refill my cartridges. In this case, we're going to concentrate on three Canon printers, the Pro 100, the Pro 10, of course, and the Pro 1000. When should I top off or refill my cartridges? Well, the Pro 100, once you start refilling after you modify or either buy pre-modified cartridges from my eBay source on my video descriptions, you will be able to then continually refill these at will. Basically, anytime you want to refill them, you can refill them, just reset them to full, refill them. The practice that I abide by is as soon as one of them goes low, and if I have a second set of cartridges already reset and filled, I just remove the whole set and then install a brand new set. That means refilled and reset. And then I can start from fresh again, completely full. Now, the refilling at the point when one cartridge goes low only applies to the Pro 100. And the reason being is that it goes low when this chamber becomes empty. But you don't want to go beyond that because then you start losing ink on this sponge side. While you still have ink available on the liquid chamber, the sponge is kept saturated at the proper level. But the minute, the second, I should say, this one goes empty, there's no longer any ink to replenish this sponge. And so if you continue to print, you're going to deplete the sponge. Now, if you're just going to use OEM cartridges, okay, one at a time, then fine. Use them until they are empty. Save the cartridges. You can sell them to someone on eBay and then replace it with a brand new OEM cartridge, but we are refilling. So to maintain ink flow, proper ink flow, you have to maintain the proper constant saturation level on this side of the cartridge, the sponge side. So either just before it goes empty, you will get that low warning, top them all off. If you can top them all off, reset them and top them off, very quickly, then maybe you don't need a second set. If you're really good at this, you can use bottles with needles on them and just quickly top them off after you reset them, pop them back in, and you can do eight of them maybe in the next two or three minutes. That's how fast you have to be. Otherwise, a second set is what you really need to have waiting on the aisle so that you can then replace the whole kit and caboodle, as they say, and then start from fresh. Why would you want to do that? The domino effect. As you continue printing, all of the ink colors are used at different rates. So you're going to have varying levels of ink. And what you don't want to get stuck in is a cartridge goes low and then you reset it, refill it, pop it back in. And then another cartridge that was almost low will become low. Why? Because of the purge cycle that is generated. Okay. You remove that cartridge from the printhead. Now you have perfect chance of air getting into it. Okay, so that's why it has to be re-purged or re-primed. So that's the only time. Sponge type cartridges, yeah, you have to fill them. If you're going to do that, fill them before they are low or right at the point where you get that low warning. And that will prevent the sponge from losing its level of saturation. You want to avoid that like the plague. Okay, keep that in mind. Take that to the bank. Yeah. Now, Pro 10 cartridges. Pro 1000 cartridges. Do I fill them when they reach low? No. You know why? There's no sponge in these. This has an ink bladder, an ink bag, if you will. This is just a container holding liquid ink. You can run these two till they are empty. Now with the Pro 10, if you have the luxury of, again, a second set of cartridges, by all means, as soon as one goes empty in this case, swap the whole set with a new one. Why? Why not do that with this? I'll tell you why. This is a stationary cartridge printer. If I change one cartridge, it will not run a purge cycle using all 12. The Pro 10 will. It will run a purge cycle repriming all 10 channels. Why? Because these cartridges are right on the printhead. So when you go to the change position, the printhead has now detached itself from the perch unit, which kept it sealed. It detaches, it moves to the center of the printer. Now there's air underneath that nozzle plate. And when you remove those cartridges, air also 
is able to enter through the rear of the printhead or the, the entry point of the printhead for ink, that is. So now you have air in there. That has to be purged out. It has to be reprimed. So why would you want to reprime every time you change a single cartridge, which you might be doing every two or three days if you print a lot because of that domino effect. Remember, all the levels will be at drastically different points. Again, you want to avoid that. So by changing the complete set, with a brand new filled reset set to full, you start off just like when the printer was brand new. Everything is at full levels. Yeah, so that's the huge advantage. You can go weeks before a cartridge will go low or empty. Okay, so that's, that's what you wanna avoid at all costs. Avoid those unnecessary continuous, continuously changing cartridges. And, and the, the, the part that I hate is when one is empty and I remove it and it runs that stupid perch cycle. Yes, makes me angry. The next cartridge now is empty <laughs> and I have to remove that one. And at some point, maybe I'll, I will have to remove two or three cartridges until finally everything is kind of stabilized and happy. None of the cartridges are to the point where they have to be removed and replaced. You see what I mean? So avoid that. Pro 10. Pro 100, have a second set of cartridges, if at all possible. Not necessary with this one. You can do one at a time. No purge cycle. P800, if we could refill that, well, if you have the chipless solution installed, you can do that. Again, one cartridge at a time is all you have to do. No purge cycles are run when you change one cartridge. All right, I hope that is clear. And the advantages and disadvantages of either one are understood okay again i will repeat this very quickly pro 10 pro 100 okay pro 10 when it's empty pro 100 when it's low if you have a second set replace the complete set if not then do as many as you can okay as fast as you can to get everything up to a full level at least and this one here no need one at a time is all you need to do and run them till they are empty as soon as the printer says hey i'm empty and i stop printing replace the cartridge with a new one okay if you're refilling you're going to need a cartridge with a new chip on it and then filled to 80 ml of ink and pop it back in and that's all you need to do no purge cycle will take effect because that printhead was never exposed to air okay and these over here are Pro 100 Pro 10. Okay, that's enough. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. And until the next time, happy printing, everybody. And bye-bye. Oh, happy Thanksgiving, by the way. Bye-bye, everyone.